Hi folks, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a part two video of uh, something I put on YouTube quite a while ago. It's my C17 uh, two channel aircraft. Here's a controller. Now, this works on differential thrust. So you've, got, you've only got left and right, which is kind of like a throttle, and you've got your throttle there. You've got your trim buttons there, and you've got high and low rates there. That button doesn't do anything. Now, this is a bit of a weird one to fly, to be honest. It's taken me a long time to suss this out. But um, what I'll do is, I'll switch it on first. It's got gyros in it, okay, and there's only two moving parts on this. And that's the uh, propellers and the wheels. That's it. There's no um, aerolon, no rudder, nothing. It's all di directional uh, differential thrust. So, I'll see if I can get some sort of flight out of this because it's uh, it takes a really wide turning circle. I don't know if you can see that. Flies beautifully though, for a two channel aircraft. I just got it on low rates and I'm going to keep it on low rates. So I just want to do some nice flybys on half throttle there. To gain altitude, just give it more throttle and you turn very, very gently. The more you turn, the more it's going to tilt. As I said, this has got gyros in it. Got the figure of eight here. Ooh, 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 ooh. See what I mean? It takes a really long time to... I think it needs more trim on the... Uh, As I say, I'm not going to go too high because you won't see it. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it now. Glides lovely as well. Look. Whoop! <laughs> I think I need a bit more altitude to do that sort of thing. But it's it's quite tender to fly. You really have to... Um, see, when you turn, you have to reduce the throttle. Because when you, um, when you use your directional throttle, your, your directional um, motors... Flight time apparently is quite good on this. It's a 300 milli milliamp an hour battery, and uh, it lasts about 15 minutes. Oh, I've lost. I'll signal there a minute. Supposedly, this has got a 200 meter range. I, I don't think. It has. I wouldn't say it has actually. I'd say more about 80 metres. As I said, it's got two rates. Oh no! More altitude. Yeah, it's got two rates. Um, the other one is quite aggressive. It does bank really, really harshly. So you've got to be a bit more careful on the old sticks. 
but I'm just going to bimble about because this is, to be honest with you, my first proper flight on this. My real proper flight, because my others were pants. So you gain altitude by just giving it throttle. Come on, come on, come on, go higher. I don't know whether it's running out of battery. I've got a four milliamp an hour battery with me, which is a hundred um, more. But I don't know weight wise whether it'll take it. I don't see why not. Um, just give that a bit of adjustment on the back there. You just, you just squeeze it like that and it raises it. Uh, that's better. See what I mean, folks? So avoid the pylons. Yeah, didn't have enough um didn't have enough power to lift me back up. Give it a bit more uplift. See, as you straighten up, you gain more altitude. Oh, I forgot to steer it straight. If, if you're going to come, if you're going to come down from a bank straighten up and it will automatically lift again I keep forgetting to do that I keep going for the imaginary um, Aerolon uh, thing but of course it hasn't got one but great little flyer I tell you 20 quid this was you have to build it yourself um, you have to put all the uh, gyros and wings on and everything But um, it's well worth it. Twenty quid. I'm not gonna get it lift, am I? Go on, turn, 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 baby. There you go. You see, starting to climb. Now, it's, you see what I, I've done there? I pressed the high, the high bank turn um, mode two on this, and see how much it banked. So I mean, you've really got to get used to flying this before you can um, go on to the second rates, because it um, it will bank really well, as you saw. It banks really uh, sharp. Don't know how much battery I've got left in this. Spin ball about. Straighten up, straighten up. There you go, see, and it gets the height again. Turn, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Yeah, it definitely wants more trim on one side.
Oh! I click. Do you know what? I clicked that um, pylon. It was a bit naughty, that. Oh, got a bit of wind there. I'm going to land it because I've got a bit of wind. Couldn't turn into the wind because it's so light, you know, that um, you've got to choose a really calm day. The slightest bit of wind, forget it. It's not going to work. It's got to be a real calm day. And I mean calm. Ultra calm. Because this is so light. But yeah, <laughs> I've got to admit, now that I'm getting used to it, it is becoming um, a lot more fun. You can take off from the ground as well. Yeah, I'm coming for a land. I don't think it's got enough juice left in it. I'm going to try it with a 400 milliamp hour battery and see if it'll fly on that because I've, I've never done that before anyway here's my part two review of the uh, no name C17 um, Globemaster I believe it's known as made by Boeing for all you uh, technical people out there but yeah I won't I won't run its course so I'll you get the idea. I'll have some fun on my own anyway in a minute with this. But yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Bye.